right, so I just want to show you guys a cool system or a cool thing on the system here. Perspective system. So it's asking me, are you alert? I haven't touched any of the keys in a couple minutes, so hit the advisory. As long as you touch any key, then it'll go away. It's going to give you two of those warnings. If you don't respond, then it's going to start to descend the aircraft. Um, so that's just a safety feature. If you did get hypoxic and passed out, the aircraft would start descending itself. So it's going to give you that. You just hit a key. Typically, if you're at 18,000 feet, it's a longer duration. So you're going to hit a key in between. But when you're at 25,000 feet, it's just a couple minutes. So you're going to see that more often. All right, so this time we've got the RU alert. Uh, I don't see it or up. This time I'm not going to press a button, though. Look what, so it comes up, says hypoxia alert. Push, that's my second, second warning. It's waiting on me to push a button or give it some uh, indication that I'm alert. All right, so you can see it's kicked in auto descent mode. It's giving me an annunciator telling me what's going on. All right, so it reset to 14,000 feet and it's starting to descend. I'm just gonna disconnect the autopilot here so we don't bust our altitude. But you can see it, it automatically started to descend to 14,000 feet. So it gives you lots of warning, and then it'll automatically start taking you down if you do have issues. So just a fantastic system. It, it's, uh, you know, as far as, as safety is concerned, it's really, you know, it, it's a necessity when you're operating at this altitude, especially single pilot.